Hey everyone, and welcome back to this first public oval race of the new season. Today we've got my first public oval race of the new season. So I didn't own any of the content for week one. We're already into week two now. Um, so I've had to, you know, I was I was itching. I had to be patient to get back into the left turning. I didn't even own any of the dirt, I don't think, for last week, which was uh, a bit of shame. But uh, yeah, so we're back on the turning left jazz. <laughs> we're in the Legends 34. We're going to run the full season of this again. Really enjoyed it last season, to be fair. I had some really good races. Fun little car, a little, little bit twitchy, especially on cold tyres and stuff like that. It's a run, really fun car to uh, to sort of get to know and try and, I wouldn't say master, I don't think we're close to mastering any cars, but at least start to um, develop our skills a little bit, I guess, and improve in this car. We, once again this season, we'll be trying to get our rating above 4, like B4.0, so that we can hopefully run some of the A-class NASCAR stuff and things like that. Although I didn't realise at the start of last season there's the... Um, the NIS series as well, um, which is basically NASCAR, isn't it? But for C class, so we could in theory run them anyway or instead. So it's not as big of a deal anymore to me to uh, to be getting to that A class. It'd be nice to get the little blue banners across the top. But anyway, enough chatting. Let's jump on into the car with uh, qualified sort of mid pack. Not amazing, but not terrible either. Let's see how we get on. All right, we're here in the Legends 34 then. First Legends race of the season. Lania. Pace is pretty off in practice, can't find the extra attempts. We'll blame it on the setup because that's easier than uh, blaming the driver. Fingers crossed we can outlast him in, uh, outlast him in the race, sometimes happens in these. We'll see, see how we get on. No tyres, portions will be on. And to race hard in these, generally quite clean but fair. Hard but fair, hard but clean. Words. Definitely works. Let's see how we get on. Alright, here we go then. Jeez. Yeah, the light being right checked. Track is very slidey. Holy jeez. Caught those guys out. Basically drifted through. <laughs> drifted through the first couple of corners there. Jeez. Guys, you see someone spinning in the corner, like check up. Get ready, going green. Here we go with them. Post car is off. Got to jump off the start then. Hope we can hang with the boys now. Slow car down low. Is that going to be a caution? Slow car down low. Has it got it tidied up? Car outside. Clear outside. Probably missed my chance to get inside of him then. Gapping the guys behind quite nicely, so that's good. I'm sure there'll be another caution before the end though, so... No point counting chickens yet. I'll just try and keep up with these guys at the front and see how it plays out. See, they're gapping me quite a lot already, actually. Hopefully a bit of slipstream helps to keep me along with them. Maybe I just want to be lifting the corners rather than braking. Maybe I just need to send it a bit harder. Not really sure. Oh god, nearly around. Ah, oh, they're gapping me badly. I'm caught from the guy behind as well. Last to first challenge then. Get ready, going green. Alrighty, here we go again then. And starting third this time. Don't need to be pushing too much off the start. We've gone guys, hello. Let's 
snoozing at the front there. Three wide on us, man. Three wide, all the patient with these are hard. That was very loud. Thanks, Joel. You just took me out, dude. Slam the brakes on. Jesus. You always say you don't mean to do it. Dude, I've watched you do that so many times. Like, this is bullshit. I'm not racing you clean anymore, dude, because you don't race anybody else clean. Well. Get ready, going green. All right. Just didn't like it, apparently. He picked you up off the two and never let you go. I mean, that hey, wasn't... He's in. getting wrecked was completely on Joel, and he took, and took us both out. Coming up on top flight, yep, green flag, green flag. All right, we're racing again, then. Halfway in the race. a habit of when he's not the fastest car and he's, he's getting beat, he doesn't like it and he runs people over. I've noticed that in the last year and a half. Alright, quite a lot of chatter going on. I'll have to mute Steven for a bit. Oh, pony's slow. All kinds of loose. Got a nose inside. Oh god, it didn't leave as much room. Get a bit sideways ourselves. So race that seems very loose compared to what the uh, quality laps were like. It feels like we can't get the power on at all. But then I also don't think I'm the only one that's suffering that, so... Driving away from the pony car, which is quite nice. Putting these guys ahead as well, they're fighting fairly hard, but moving around at least. To leave a bit of an air gap to them, to be honest, though. That's got a horrible mid uh, mid corner slide going on at the minute from the rear end. So through one and two, last lap, I had to come completely out of the throttle just to keep it pointing in the right direction. Just never ideal when you're trying to get on the power. Thankfully we are just driving away from the pack behind, that's quite uh, quite reassuring actually. Completely lost where I was on circuit there, I thought that straight was the back straight. I was quite surprised to see the spotters, or the flagman stand. So it's hard to know if I've caught these because I'm generally faster or just because they've been fighting. Got the run on the 14 a bit here. Leaves us space. Turn the favour. We'll burn his tyres up trying to hold it around the outside, surely. Gives it up. Oh, in fact, he's in the wall. Don't bring a caution out. We're finally doing well in the race. Too light driving these. Fun little car. Hard to feel for me. Don't know if that's the cars themselves or again just the equipment I'm on, but it's probably the car to be honest. Such a short wheelbase, snaps ends on you in a heartbeat. I think I've cut my tyres a little bit making that pass. Dropping away from these two now when I was catching them quite happily before. Let's now go too wide, that'll help me a bit. Closing in on 10 laps to go. Nice green flag run here. drift from the back end that time. Thankfully it wasn't too much so we could just keep the power down. Control it with the gas pedal. The go button. A lot of cars in the pits so that's really helped us advance our position to be fair but then gotta be in it to win it I guess. Everyone complained about three wide before I mean any one of the three I guess could have backed out if they weren't happy being three wide. 
takes more than one person to have a multi-car accident generally, so... Feeling this eight car ahead of us is just measuring his efforts, just keeping us at a comfortable gap. I think they added a green and white checkers to the series, so it's not over until it's actually over. Five to go though. Counting down the laps. Just don't think we've got the pace to catch this last this red car ahead of us. Number eight, I think it is, yeah. Quite a nice one and two there. The back end kind of came round on entry, which just gave me loads of rotation. Got on the power nice and early there. Again, I feel like I've got the pace over this red car. Ten faster that lap. Maybe just looked after my tyres a bit better through the race. Again, maybe he's just measuring himself. Get the run, we'll have to take it. Don't mind keeping him too wide. Hopefully he doesn't have the run to crisscross us. We'll stay low. It's gonna bump for us. It just turns us around. Ah, oh, we're still crashing. Nah, it's dead. Unbelievable. Well. That wasn't the ideal way to end. Um, I was pretty salty at first at the end in there, but uh, I mean, I was chatting to John afterwards and he it didn't take him long to apologise. <laughs> he didn't apologise immediately, but uh, yeah, it didn't take him long to apologise. So at least he did that, kind of move on and forgotten about it now. Um, it's just one of them things and this, this sort of track, this circuit, these cars, tight racing. Um, you're looking to try and get the run and he just sort of mistimed it and turned us around. It was just frustrating that it came off so badly for us um, and we dropped to kind of last last of the pack after that one um, with all the incident counts to go ar around with it. Um, I'm not sure if the second spin was me hitting the gas too hard. I mean, I was still in second gear. Um, I think the car was just grabbing. I think it was just absolutely wrecked after the first, the first contact there. So yeah, not ideal, but uh, there was some really great racing through the race there. That's why I kind of wanted to upload it and keep it for memory's sake. Um, Running out of talent in the middle of the race didn't really help either. She <laughs> dropped us back in the rat pack and we had to work our way back through. But yeah, looking forward to running the season of these again. Really fun car, really fun racing. Um, I would say generally a good bunch of guys that run them, but it seems to be sort of getting a bit, bit like toxic at the minute, which is a bit of a shame. There's a lot of a lot of people arguing over voice chat and stuff like that, which isn't ideal because, um, especially when I jumped into this at the start of last season, it was sort of a really just a fun, nice place to go race, and everyone was kind of helping each other, uh, sort of playing around, joking around on voice chat. And that seems to have gone a little bit, which is the same, but uh, yeah, still we're running the season. Cars are epic. I'll turn voice chat off if need be, and we'll uh, we'll see how we can get on with rating wise through this season. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this one. So if you did enjoy it, you know the YouTube stuff. If you don't, I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, drop us a comment if you like, um, and subscribe if you're not done that already. Yeah, other than that, I guess take it easy, look after yourself, and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>